Okay, so you bought a used access port for your Fiesta or Focus ST. The going rate is three to four hundred dollars. Three fifty is fine. That's what you're gonna find in most of the groups. So uh, first thing we're gonna do. So we're gonna custom tune this car. We're not gonna use the Cobb access port can tunes. So first thing I'm gonna do. I just bought this. Um, okay, good. It says install. If it does not say install, it's still married to somebody else's car. So you want to make sure you see that install on there. That means we're good to go. But before I install this on my car, we're going to bring it inside and we're going to update it. Now that you have your access port, either brand new or unmarried from somebody else's car, which we just verified because it says install. So we're happy with that. We're going to go to um, cobtuning.com slash product slash access port dash manager. And we're going to go here. We're going to hit operating system windows. It's going to give us the little access port manager um, startup right here. So we're good there. So you can click that and install access port. Okay, so now that we have the access port installed on here, um, so I'll actually eject that and then reconnect. So this is what it'll look like when you first plug it into access port manager. And then basically it's gonna ask you if you wanna update your firmware. I already did that, so you don't need to worry, but if it asks you, go ahead and do it. It's uninstalled from the car right now, so it's a good time to do it. So you can see on here, you've got maps and you've got data logs. That's primarily what you're gonna be working with. And when you first get this access port, it'll have some random ones on here. Uh, you know, probably like these stage ones, they come with the access port. And so you're not need, you don't need to worry about those for the moment. But what we're gonna do is before, I mean, don't worry about anything at the moment. Um, we're just assuming you bought it, it's brand new. Don't worry about the e-tune process yet. Right now, we just wanted to get the firmware updated. Now we're gonna go back out to the car. Okay, so now we're going to install our access port. So we got it plugged back in the car here. And we got the firmware all updated, just like I showed you. And next thing we're going to do is hit install. So this is going to tie the ECU. So make sure that the vehicle matches the identification results. So it's asking me, oops, it's asking me, is this a US 2016 to 2019 Fiesta ST? Mine's a 2018, so I'm going to say yes, I'm good. So I hit the... Okay, so now it's actually installed on the car and you're not gonna see all these custom tunes cause I already have them done, but you're gonna see, you know, random ones. Like if I go down here, like these stage one or stage zero, which this is simulating a stock tune right here. And then stage one is the pre-canned one, stage or uh, 91 octane, stage one, 93 stage one, likewise all the way through. So you can throw one of those on if you want. I don't recommend them. I get a, a pro tune done up. But at this point, um, your access port is installed on the car. Um, well, kind of, it's gonna make you put a tune on. So you know what, we're just gonna put on my custom tune. You're gonna put on uh, one of these. Probably stage zero is what I'd run if you plan on pro tuning right away, which you should. Okay, and then it says, be careful. Um, don't kill your battery, which you can do. And if it dies in the middle, you can really screw up your ECU. And then this is backup factory data or skip factory backup. I'm on a stock turbo. And if I ever wanna take this access port off, you need this backup. So you're gonna wanna click on uh, backup factory data. And then we're gonna let this cycle through. It takes a minute for the initial install. When you go between um, maps, it goes really quickly. But uh, for this part, it does take a minute. And um, if you're worried about your battery dying, go drive it around the block for a bit first, um, or plug it on a battery charger, or at least pop your hood. <laughs> but uh, if this dies in the middle, I've heard some pretty big problems with your ECU getting bricked and doing some pretty big damage. So disclaimer there, make sure you got enough battery. Okay, so you can see installation was successful. Please turn the ignition key to off, which um, and it's gonna do a bunch of weird shit on you and make you all like, oh no, my car is breaking, but it's just reflashing your car. So we're gonna hit okay. And then we're gonna shut this off for 15 seconds here. So we're just gonna let it go down and then just count to 15 and you can restart it. Okay, so I've got that custom picture I showed you earlier um, and now we're good. So blah, blah, blah cars back on and now it doesn't say install you'll see it says gauges and it has all these different things you can go through but the main thing is that it, you have to hit if you have to hit this and it's brand new and you bought it from someone else it means this access port is married to somebody else's car so anyway now we're good um, you can go up to gauges and you can set those up how you want I can do a separate video on how to optimize all that but while we're out here so the next thing we're gonna do is go in and we're gonna send an email to Brian Tyson who runs JST and we're gonna show him, hey, this is actually married to the car now. So now that you install the map on here, it is married this access port to your ECU. And the reason that's important is now when you send him one of those pre-canned maps, um, it's gonna actually have your vehicle identification on it. So it's gonna have your ECU coding basically available so he knows that you're not wrong about what car you're trying to tune, which protects you, it protects him. And it's actually a really easy way to ensure that everything's going okay. Now that we have the car married, um, we're gonna go like, uh, this and you're gonna go to these maps right here 
And so the first thing you're going to do, I'll just grab the Stage 191 Octane. Now this is where the car is, or the access port is married to the car. So this is going to actually give him a good indication. So you can literally click and drag this into your Gmail, um, and it'll it'll upload it into the email. So you can send him that, and then you're also going to send him a list. But basically what you do is you go out into your car, and you change all the parameters. He'll give you a list of uh, parameters that you need, and you can also find them on his website, which I will show you. Okay, so right here is the tuning sheet that you're going to send him with the tune that I just showed you. So you just grab that tune, one of those canned cob tunes, after it's installed on your car. And you're going to run through everything you have on there. So I have the map performance intake. Um, I've got a Wush crossover pipe, Wush turbo inlet, map performance exhaust, stock down pipe, all the stuff you have. Um, so we're going to go through that. You put in notes. Um, I said, hey, it shouldn't matter. I've got a Damon Motorsports catch can. And then just so you know, I live in Minnesota in a cold climate. I'm not sure if that affects the tune. Uh, and I ended up deciding to tune it mostly in the cold just to have it that way. Um, and then step one, fill out the above information sheet. Follow step two, submit all requested information back to sales. This is the email, sales at JST Performance. Uh, and then make sure you keep the same email chain going. If he doesn't reply back or send you a log back, just wait. He's going to get back to you. And if he misses it after a week, okay, you know, maybe reach out to him uh, over email. Say, hey, I'm, you know, I didn't know if you saw my other email. Um, but give him a little bit of time, you know, uh, if you email it on a Friday, he's probably not working the weekend either. Maybe he is, wouldn't be surprised, but just take your time with it and make sure you're always replying to the same email chain. He kind of uses that to see where you're at. So if you start other email chains, you're going to lose track of where revisions are and you're going to confuse him and make it harder for everybody to get a good tune on board. Okay. So update your access port to the newest firmware. We already did that. Plug your access port into the car. So we did that. Go to the Maps menu and click Restore OTS Off the Shelf Tunes. Uh, I didn't show you that because I didn't want to mess up my stuff, but it's pretty easy to do. Just like, just like it says, go to Maps. Plug the access port into your computer and take any of the new V500 Plus maps off the access port, V300 or higher for Focus RS, uh, and transfer onto your computer. Any will work. We just need this map uh, for your car information and compatibility. So please do not send any or maps from other tuners, Cobb OTS. So if you have a Tune Plus map or you have a stratified map, don't send that, send the one I showed you. Uh, email that map along with your information sheet from above to our tuner. Uh, once you receive your custom base map, take data logs using the instructions below. So on your access port, open the gauges tab. You're gonna click settings and then click data monitoring list right here. And then you select all these parameters right here. So you have map slot, accelerator pedal position, actual air fuel ratio, airflow mass, barometric pressure. So you're going to go through this whole list, and I'll show you how to tick through those on the access port. It's pretty easy. And then once you have that, you want to follow these directions. So find a safe flat road and take three data logs of a wide open throttle third gear pull from 2400 RPM to 6500 RPM, and one log of partial throttle driving using the new base map that has been sent to you from JST. Use the center button of the access port to start and stop logging. Wait a couple of seconds so it actually starts data logging and then go wide open throttle. And you're going to do that throttle from 2400 to 6500 RPMs. And one comment I'll make on this is you don't need to sit there redlining it um, before you hit the end button. I always shift into fourth and then I hit the stop button to be safe because um, I don't want to sit there redlining my car while I'm trying to fiddle around with my access port. Going probably pretty quick if you have a, you know, a, a tuned car, you know, third gear. Probably going 90, so make sure you're on a road that's safe and uh, don't break the law. Um, don't get caught. I've seen plenty of people who have pictures of the cops behind them um, after getting pulled over doing data logs. It's happened to me, actually. Um, connect your access port to your computer and open Access Port Manager, which we already showed you. Under the Data Logs tab, save the data logs to your computer and email the files to sales at JST Performance. And that's where you can just literally grab those data logs or those tunes and drop them into your email. Now, when you get an email back, it's a little bit different. You have to hit, you just have to download it and then you can drag it over. So if you just try to drag it straight out of the email, nothing will happen. If you download it from your email to your computer and then drag it over, you're fine. It'll go right over, no problem. Um, just like this, I don't know if you can see it here, but like I dragged, I actually hit the download button in the email and then I can take this and I can drag this onto my access port screen. Okay, so just to show you, if he sent me a tune right here, you can hit download and then you're going to have the tune there and I can drag it over here. Or actually, we're going to go to maps here, so that's where we're at, yep. And then I can drag it over, drop it, it says, are you sure you want to copy one file to the access port? I'm going to say yes and bam. It just gave me that tune. I just read. You can see right here where I dragged that tune over, um, or that map uh, from JST. So I dropped in tune one there, 
And now I can go out to my car, install that, make sure all the parameters are good, and I can data log, get the data logs back. And once I have those, they will appear over here under data logs. And so between revisions, uh, for the first one, you're going to run three data logs. After that, you're going to run two for every revision. is pretty normal. Wide open throttle, third gear, 2400 to 6500 RPMs. So once you have those, you can literally click these and you can drag them into your email, right into Gmail, no problem. It'll work fine. You can drag these straight out of Access Port Manager right into your email. So those will drag over. Maps will also drag straight over. But when you bring them out of your email back onto your Access Port, you're going to want to hit the download button first, the little down arrow, uh, to download it and then pull it over to your access port. And it'll work fine. You don't have to download it on your computer and save it. You just hit the download, and that way it's actually pulling a file over, not like a screenshot or something. So, it's kind of, And that's basically how you move it. So then when I have data log, so I'm going to go out with my car, and I'm going to do those third gear pulls and data log everything. So then I'm going to go to data logs, and this is where it gets tricky, okay? This is going to go by file size, which is how quick you are on the button. So don't worry about that. You want to go with always the most two recent ones. So 16 and 17, those are the last two I took. You're going to start with three. So if you have none on here, if you want to delete all these first before you start, that's fine. But if you go out and you do three pulls and you go, oh my god, I can't remember which three they are, they're always the three most recent. So if your first three are 14, 15, 16, you can send them out. If you want to delete data logs, um, you can. You just hit data log one and you hit delete right here. I'm just going to delete file. Are you sure? Yes. Oh, there it goes. Okay. Same thing with maps. Okay. So I just downloaded that over again. I don't need that. I'm going to delete it. Okay. So don't get too crazy. You don't need delete, deleting everything, but you don't want 47 different you know, maps on here. And I leave all these on here just so I can track where I'm at. So I know I'm on tune seven right now, which is actually the final tune I just finished up. But that's basically the process. And then when you need to drag it back into an email, um, I'll just kind of show you what that looks like. So we're done now, but if I want to reply, and let's say I need to put my two most recent maps, um, or data logs rather, um, I'm gonna go 16, 17. So I'm gonna drag 16 over. I'm gonna drag 17 over and say something like, you know, here are the new data logs, data logs. Thanks. And then boom, I hit send. He has those new data logs. He'll send me another tune back. I'll download that. I'll drag it back over to my access port where the maps are. I'll flash that to my car. I'll data log for that map. And we're going to go back and forth with that cycle until I have a finalized tune. And I'm happy and he's happy with the tune. And then they run awesome. JST is so good. I can't recommend them enough, but I really do love how they do their tunes. 